This is the Star Power X Pit Pat online racing treadmill. This is a very fun, very engaging, very intuitive piece of exercise equipment. It's very lightweight as well. It can has a vertical folding design where these arms can fold up and down. Assembly is very simple, very straightforward with the included tools. Use these uh, tools to secure the arms. And then also this dashboard simply plugs in when in the included connector and then six bolts secure it to the upright arms. After completion of assembly, we'll simply get the included cord, plug it into the back of the treadmill. There's a there's an outlet right in the back of the, the treadmill. Plug that in there. There's also the on-off switch there, the red button, and then there's a circuit breaker there as well. And the other end is just going to plug into your standard household outlet. Before turning it on, I'm going to install the tablet or phone holder. This is a simple piece of plastic that, that slides into the front of the treadmill to display your phone. There's also an included rubber pad that has an adhesive grip to it. Your phone or tablet will stick to this pad and you're able to very easily use your phone or tablet while you're using the treadmill, which is a critical part of this treadmill with all the app-based functionality. Now we'll go into the App Store and download the PitPat app. This is the app that's designed to really interact with this treadmill on an online basis. You agree to a few notifications here, and then also I'll set up my account. Setting up your account, very simple, your name, email, address. Once you do that, it connects to the treadmill with Bluetooth, and then you connect the treadmill to your Wi-Fi, your home Wi-Fi system. So I log on here, I'm able to see a welcome screen. One nice benefit is there is an actual cash reward system for completing challenges and races. You can kind of see a running total here. There's also some newcomer benefit and activities that you can go through and start uh, getting familiar with the treadmill. Now the there's a red magnet here that will turn on the treadmill on and off. So I'll just put that on. Also there is a, a wrist bracelet that you put on that's going to monitor your heart rate. It plugs into the side after you take it out of the bracelet to charge it and then you will put it back inside this bracelet when you're using it and it's going to help monitor your uh, activity here. Now this application is going to work best if you can mirror the screen or cast it to a TV or a larger monitor. You can see here I have a monitor on the wall. This is a 65 inch TV on the wall. I'm actually using it on my iPhone. I'm casting it via Apple TV and I'm casting it onto the screen. So that, that, is the, that is the way to really experience, get a full user experience with this app and that is by doing it online, online and with this TV on the wall. Now this first user activity that I'm experiencing is a one versus one race and you can choose the different distances. This is actually a one, a one mile race and I'm going to go around this track. It's actually four laps around this track. This is a stadium. It's kind of interactive where I can see my avatar on the screen. You can change how your avatar or your person that you're uh, representing you on the screen looks. You can change their hair, their clothes, the color of the clothes, the shoes, the shorts. And as you get in, as, as the speed increases on the treadmill, the guy on the screen, your guy on the screen is going to continue to run faster as well. So it's going to keep track of that. It's also going to show you how far ahead or behind of the other person you are. So it's actually a real race here. As you're running on the treadmill or walking, you're able to see how far ahead you're able, you are in front of the other person. One thing that I really like about this app is it really encourages you to complete the race. Now, if I'm doing a one mile race and I step off of the treadmill, then it ends the entire race and I can't complete it. So I didn't complete that race. So if I say I'm going to do a one mile race versus another person, I'm really committed to that race and you, you can't, once you stop, it ends the race. So you don't want to end it. There's no pausing the race mid-race. You, you have to complete the whole thing. So you want to make sure you have enough time that you dedicated that you don't have to have any inter interruptions that, that are going to interrupt your racing because if you do, it, it basically cancels it all out. So I found that that's been more motivating to have that race that I know I have to I, I've set it up for a mile. I'm going to run a mile and that's how I'm going to do it. Here's how I'm customizing my avatar where I change the different shirts and the, the pant colors things like that, the shoes, you can change all those different uh, things to kind of customize the look of your guy. Now this is a fun activity where I'm just going to the the section where I can just kind of go through and do a, a, a run or a walk in a different environment. Now this is just kind of a, a city environment with there's a trail and there's uh, the trees. So there's some different environments that you can run or walk in where it's not necessarily a competition. But here I am on the, tr the, the, uh, the back in the competition again and I'm 
doing the one mile race I had to restart it because I got off the treadmill that's one thing that I learned but I really like that it is motivating that I have to complete the race I have to run my one mile to really complete and finish the race and you earn these cash rewards as you finish these races as you compete one thing to note also is the top speed of the treadmill is 7.5 miles per hour so it goes all the way from 0 to 7.5 miles per hour and even though I can run faster than 7.5 it really does help I found that I was running at the top speed of the treadmill in most instances now I was only running a mile if I was running a three or a five mile race I would probably run at a little bit slower pace because you know just to kinda of pace myself but just know that there isn't also no incline there is just uh, the the 7.5 speed limit but I don't think that's gonna be a problem if you're just kinda of getting into running or racing or walking it's gonna be great and 7.5 if you're running that for five miles that's gonna be a very strenuous workout so I'd probably have to throttle it down for a longer workout anyways having the built-in heart rate monitor where you're wearing a this wrist uh, monitor has been very helpful you're able to see your 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 statistics your heart rate and it's able to track your cadence and your steps and how long you've actually gone so there that is a nice feature there you also have the ability to uh, communicate with the person you're competing with so if it's just someone random you can you know encourage people that you're racing against through voice text or you can type a message from your phone directly in and send a messaging so there is communication with others especially fun if you're if you're racing against someone that you know maybe a friend or a family member you're able to kind of encourage them talk with them along the way and kind of motivate each other as you're both engaged in this race in the app under the training zone you can go to free run which I'm in right now and you can choose the different environments so for example this is the sunny beach environment it's over six mile long trail that you can run and go through and you can, here's an example of the the different training areas so there's a woodland there's a small town there's athletic field kinda see here and then also we have this is just kind of the dashboard here where you can do different training areas you can do aerobic walk warm-ups fat burning all kinds of different walks walks and runs that are kinda built in there Okay, under the training courses, there's different uh, training uh, programs available. For example, there's uh, aerobic walks, warm-ups, fat burning, different levels, junior, intermediate. Here I'm doing one where it, the, all the speeds are pre-programmed into the workout. For example, it starts off at 2.5 miles an hour, for, and it's a 20-minute workout. So it, the speeds are already preset. I don't have to worry about adjusting the speed, so I'm going to start off at 2.5. As I get into the workout, it's slowly going to increase the pace. As I get into the pace, it's going to increase. And then there will be a cool down at the end of that 20 minutes. So I don't have to worry about speeds. I just have to worry about just keeping up with the treadmill and doing the workout. It is programmed for me which is a great feature. I find this app and online racing platform to be much more motivating than a traditional treadmill would be. The treadmill is also very comfortable to run on. It does have a 300 pound capacity and a three horsepower motor that has plenty of power to get it up to that seven and a half mile per hour top speed. The online cash reward system that they have set up for completing events and challenges is kind of a motivating factor when it comes to getting on the treadmill and doing the workouts. For example, when I do the one versus one challenge, I want to make sure that I complete the race because after that I get a, uh, a cash reward built up to my account. So the fact that there is some kind of a small monetary uh, reward for completing these challenges makes, makes the workout more motivating. I'm more likely to do the workout, and I found that I want to do the workouts more for, for these reasons. Now here in the app, I can go to the multiplayer events, the PK the multiplayer events, these are the ones that you have to kind of schedule ahead of time, but if you see there's a max reward, $9 for these, and they're set up at different times, so you can do from you know one to five miles at different times, and when you set those up, you, you, you schedule a time to complete your, your run in those events. This is the new user area. This is a great place to start when you first open up the treadmill and the app, so that you can start. It has a couple runs you can do, a couple of uh, activities that you can participate in to really just kind of get a feel for how the app works. And you can only do one a day, so it kind of encourages you to do one, come back the next day, and do a few others at that point. So overall, I'm very impressed with the app on this platform. The PitPat app actually works really well. It's user-friendly, it's intuitive, it's uh, straightforward, It's, it's the, all of the challenges are very easy to use. I like that there's challenges that you can race people. I find myself putting in more miles being more competitive, maybe push myself a little more than I normally would 
on just than, than just a regular treadmill because of this feature where I'm racing against someone or I want I want to finish the race so that I get my cash bonus at the end of it. So these are all great features. Anytime a, a piece of exercise equipment can motivate someone to use it on a regular basis and develop good exercise habits is a big plus. So that's a big win for this uh, platform, for this app. It really does a great job. The interaction is good with the treadmill. The treadmill is basic, but it does serve the purpose, and the app really is the selling feature of this treadmill. It does a great job the interaction on the screen it does work best when it is cast to a TV so you can see it a, a lot uh, in, a, in larger on a larger screen that really helps I, I find that helps that makes it kind of more immersive as far as the experience is concerned commonly I find myself going under the under the app in the free run or the training zone in the free run where I can see these different courses so for example here I'm just running through a, a, a woodland area or a small town there's got these different environments that you can run through so you're not always having to run on a track or an arena area you can run like in a in a, in a this is a city and more of a city environment on a street and there's trees and, and kind of scenery to look at I find myself a little more engaged in these situations so some of the competitions are not that competitive if someone you're racing against on a 1v1 and they're just walking well there's really not much of a uh, that's really not much of a race but I do find myself in those situations running a little harder wanting to lap them as I go around the, the the track and so forth so a lot of a lot of good variety when it comes to to the different uh, races you can do, free run, the different trainings. The app really is set up intuitively, and I really find that it's uh, motivated me to put in some extra miles walking and running. So if you're looking to get into running or, or, or jogging, this is a great tool to do that to help keep you motivated and to help you get those miles. In. Anyways, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you found that helpful and informative, and see the link to this uh, treadmill down in the description below. Thank you.